They say teamwork makes the dream work. And with over 300 volunteers contributing nearly 50,000 hours just in 2022, one program is helping make our communities a little greener. WSU Extension Pierce County Master Gardeners support the Pierce County communities by providing free garden talks at libraries and at schools. We provide clinics all throughout our county and all of our demonstration gardens you can come and see and learn. All of our produce that we raise go to local food banks, so here in Gig Harbor goes out to fish and in our Puyallup demonstration garden gets distributed out through Puyallup and Tacoma as well. Our volunteers are our program. They are dedicated to teaching and they're dedicated to learning and extending their own knowledge. They are the reason the program functions and moves and is able to go out into our community. They represent our community. You're doing great. Planting its roots in Pierce County 50 years ago, the WSU Extension Master Gardener Program has blossomed in other states and countries. It's really an outdoor classroom for adults and children. Even if you just make one person connection, realizing that, oh, I can go home and grow my own food or support pollinators or whatever it is that message we're trying to get across that day, we feel like, you know, you've done something great. I think anyone who's been in a garden knows the healing aspects of being in nature and being around plants and then being in community with other people who feel that way and are dedicated to it is amazing for your mental health, amazing for your physical health and I am just so honored to be a part of the community with them. Hey, what's up buddy? Hey, good, how you doing? Over at Raymond Hall, Pierce County's Juvenile Detention Center, Leo Randolph's Clippers have been a welcome sound for three generations. At first I was working here. I used to work here back in the 70s. And then after I left here, I started working with Pierce Transit. And then I wanted to come back and start volunteering. One of the kids one time, he said, man, my hair is really bad. I have no money to get it and all. He said, can you cut my hair? So I came, okay, I'll try. So I did, I tried cutting his hair and it was okay. He's okay, you did a good job. Then another kid said, hey, can you come back next week and do mine? And so I came back and I kept coming back ever since. That was almost more like 30, 38 years ago. So I learned over a period of time how to do it right and wrong. I messed up a lot of hairs along the way. Not only is Leo a self-trained barber, He's also a 1976 Olympic gold medalist and world champion flyweight boxer. We had a motivational speaker come and talk to us about setting goals. Setting goals that this is what you want to do. And so when I was 14, I said, hey, I think I want to try for the Olympics. And so I set a goal. My goal was that Leo Randolph will win the gold medal. Using that same spirit of determination, Leo continues to inspire motivation one haircut at a time. A lot of them know about my background, my career, and so that'll motivate them too to want to do something positive. Hello, what's up, what's up, how are you? When I talk to them, I don't know what they did or why they're in, we don't speak on that. We just mostly uh, motivate them. The encouraging words you could say to somebody who's out there, some kid who maybe needs that um, one word of encouragement to help his life along the way. I'm not here to, trying to get money for it. It's something I'm doing from my heart and they could feel I'm doing it from the heart. Then they, they might feel more, um, hey, this guy is sincere about what he's telling me. Yeah, thank you. Okay, you This year's Volunteer of the Year is devoted to giving a voice to those who need it the most. Since retiring, David Frishaw has been serving Pierce County in various ways. After volunteering as a land use advisor for the Graham community, he saw an opportunity to join the Pierce County Aging and Disability Resources Advisory Board. You're welcome. I saw the real need that seniors had for housing, which is where I was coming from, and the lack of voice they had because typically speaking, seniors are not part of the decision-making process, but they need to be because they have needs. And more importantly, they 
been there and done that. They have a wealth of experience that needs to be incorporated in the decision-making process. Thank you. For the past eight years, David has served the ADR board in every capacity possible, advocating for funding at the county council to support senior centers. Society can benefit from the aged population as well as those with disabilities who have a lot to contribute and are ready, willing, and able to do so. Although his board service has ended, David continues to volunteer in the community and at local senior centers. It's not always easy to be a volunteer. It's often demanding. It does take your time and energy. And it is, however, very rewarding for me personally. The people you meet make it worth your while to go out and volunteer. <laughs> In 2022, volunteers contributed nearly 57,000 hours of time, talent, and expertise to Pierce County. Thank you to all the volunteers who continue to make a difference in our community in every way possible.